Kyle here again with another video. So I've decided in this video we're going to do um, basically a project overview and project setup. Um, we're just going to go and take a look at what I plan on doing for this video, for the video series. So basically throughout the series what I'll be doing is following these steps here. First I'll open a window, then I'll instantiate that window with an OpenGL context. Then we'll have a server which will be a separate program by the way. But yeah, we're gonna connect this. You're gonna connect the window. We just open the program with the window to the server. And we'll have this as soon as we connect to the server, we'll send image data, which will just be a char array, a array of characters. Um I don't I'm not sure how having how sending the entire image will work out. Maybe it might be too much, but for now we just won't worry about compression. If it ends up being too much, then yeah, I'll probably look into it. And we'll place the image data in a texture buffer, an OpenGL texture buffer. Then we'll display that image as a texture on a quad, which we will be rendering on the screen on the receiving end of the program. So yeah, pretty simple. That is how I plan to do this. I don't know how it will work out in the end. Maybe it'll be too slow or something. But yeah, that's what I'm going for. Um, for this, I plan on using, as I said in the first video, I'm planning on using code blocks. So let's just get started. Just create a new project. Um, console application is fine. Go. Next. And for this, we'll use C++. Um, you can call your project anything. I'll just call mine. Scale, I like to put mine in the documents directory. I don't know where. Uh, I'll call my scale because it's really close to Skype and it's, I think it's pretty witty and stuff. Next, you can click finish. Okay, so as you can see, we have our default project here. Um, I don't really plan on using any of this, but let's just leave it for now. Um, so there's some things we need to do first. Go to pro properties and go to projects build options. And I know I know some of you probably saw this build options things here, but I don't think it's program specific. It's project specific, so you I don't recommend opening that. This one here, I know for sure, is project specific, so that's one we we'll use. So at first, we need to link some like, we need to link some libraries. Um, I only plan on using one of them, and that's glue. What we'll be using, guys, is the library called glue it's pretty much the only library i'll be using in this project it glue is the opengl extension wrangler it basically helps us load the um, opengl functions and stuff so we don't have to do it manually which will be a lot of work basically just download the windows 32 bit and 64 bit binaries it will take you to the download page and you can download it but they already have downloaded it so i won't go through it again after you've downloaded it be sure to uh, extract it. So go here, it will probably be like this, just extract it. Not sure where mine is, let's search for it. So here. I'm going to the lib folder, release, rain32 will be fine. Let's just go. Now here we'll copy this and we'll, we're going to put it in the core blocks. Core blocks library directory so that we don't have to um, have to go searching for it. Or if you switch computers to another project it wouldn't the file path wouldn't be specific to the user. So first, go to the C program files, S86. Here we have code blocks, ngw, lib, and here I'll paste them here. Don't worry about it. It's probably not, you don't have to worry about the fact that they're DLLs. Code blocks is able to handle them, GCC is able to handle them, so we'll just paste them here. 
go ahead and give it administrator access. So after you've done that, now we can go link the libraries that we need. So press the add button and then go here, press this folder button so we can get a file explorer so we can better search for it. Now we get to your C drive, to the same place we just stored them, into program files, code blocks, mgw lib, and here you'll see, well now the question, the question comes up which one to link. I'm going to link the static one. The other one is is a static library which links to a DLL, which I don't want. So we'll link the static one. But first, there are also some other things we need to link as well. First, libgdi. This is very important. I don't I don't want to keep the path relative because it's not specific to the user. It's more specific to our core blocks installation, which I think may be the same for everyone, but not too sure. So I'm going to keep it as an entire phone name. Next, we'll also link libopengl. Next, we'll also link this libopengl32. Um, and lastly, we'll no link. We'll no link the Glue. Why are these search results still here? Whoa. Whoa. Here we are, we'll link lib32. We don't want it to keep it as relative. And okay, that's pretty much it. As you guys can see, we have lib gdi32. And let's also link hmm, the, about the order. Sometimes the order can be important. We'll see if it compiles or not. And we'll come back to see that. So firstly, I'm just going to include, um, I'm going to remove this. Instead of uh, your stream, I'll include I'll include STDIO and then let's include windows.h. Let's just see if this works. Print F hello world. Let's compile and run and see if it works. Okay, so now that we have that done, there is a couple more things I want to do. First, I want to make the glue folder a, a directory in our project. Let's find the glue folder. And this folder here, Mark, include. This is what we want to include into our project. So let's copy this. go over to my, my project and I guess this is also where we could start creating a couple folders which I think will be needed. So firstly, I'm going to create a, a folder called vendor. As I said, this is pretty much the only library I plan on using. So then we can paste the folder here. Okay, so that's pretty much that. So next, let's go to the projects properties again. Let's go to projects build options and we'll go to search directories and add a search directory. Search directory will be in vendor. Um, we could leave it as a relative path because it's within, it's within the project so shouldn't run into any problems there. Okay. That's that, so now we should be able to include glue without any problems.
as you guys can see it's showing out here let's just include it and as you can see we're getting suggestions for it so it looks like it's we have successfully included it into our search path okay so let's see if it works so let's just type, start typing in some stuff glue experimental is actually something i do want to do so let's do it right now and also let's just do glue in it just to see if it works this usually returns a Something that I didn't know the status of the init. Okay, I want to print hello world first. Okay, and then we'll just do, we'll just print FD status. Um, I think it is an int, but it doesn't even really matter right now. This is just to test if it, everything is linked correctly and if everything is working. Also, let's just change this, the function signature right now to Vinyan because it needs to be. Vinyan takes in a couple things. Firstly, it takes in something called a H instance. This really stands for a handle to, in, to an instance. And let's just call it instance. Secondly, it takes in another H instance called previous. It's a handle to the previous instance. I've never really used this particular one, this this argument, so I'm not too sure what it is. Then it takes in a string, a long pointer to a string. Which will which is our args if we pass to it. And then lastly, it takes in an ink called it. It's the command line. I never really used it either. I think it's just the uh, amount of arguments that were passed or something. Not too sure. But it's not important. We won't, we won't really be using it in this program. I don't think yet. So yeah, let's just see if this works. Hmm. Oh, sorry about that. Stupid error. Hmm. It's giving us link errors. But I mean, I'm pretty sure we linked it, right? Maybe it's the order. Okay, so we'll link it first. See what happens. Let's rebuild. Hmm. We still get that problem. Give me one minute, guys. I'll try to fix this. Okay, guys, I'm back. So I figured out why it wasn't building before. Um, it's a pretty silly thing. Um, so what happened? You have to go to properties build options and in the in the defines you have to define glue static because we did link to the static library and the glue library does require that you define this before using it so that's that okay so now your program should be working let's just compile and run again okay so let's go well, I think that's it for this one. Next time, I'm gonna actually get a window up and running. So, see you guys then.